looks like we got a president that's got some whatever you might want to say it. I'm not going to say the bad word. But um, the Jewish killings that happened the other day uh, was no sense in it. There was just it was just total evil, and why people are constantly hating on Jews is it's, it's nothing um, unfamiliar. It's happened for years, and people can pretend all they want with a Mandela effect. You know, like oh, the Holocaust never happened. Oh, it did. And uh, they can hate all they want, and they can not. Uh, you know, a lot of Jews might not be Christians. Um, or having a far as, uh, far as Christians, you know, concerned. They might not be Christians. They might not. They are the people of God, of God, but Christians are the people of God too. But we don't replace them. They don't replace us. And it's because, um, you know, in the back it says in the Bible that um, it's because of the Jews that we have our faith, you know, because God used the Jews, God used um, prophets and apostles to preach his word to them. And, um, that's how we got the Bible, and so it, it's because of what He did through them, and through them, and their rejection of the Lord Jesus Christ, and turn away from Him. That does not mean that they are not going to be brought back in, you know. And uh, the Lord had already has a plan how to do that. And uh, but He said in Genesis 12:3, "Whoever blesses Israel, they will be um, they will bless. If you if you curse Israel, you're going to be cursed." So. You uh, curse the Jew, the Jewish people, about in doing this, and there, there are things that are going to happen to these people. And I hope America will not be taking the brunt of that. Um, I pray that. But um, it's the people who do these kind of things need to um, need to pay for it, you know. And um, it's not just Jewish people, but all people, you know. And uh, the thing about being a Jew is, like I said, whereas some of them might hate Christians and others might love Christians and stuff like that, it doesn't matter. We're, what we're supposed to be as Christians is the light into all the world, even to the Jews whom we get a message from, the Lord, you know, who they rejected. And, but um, anyway, as I said, that does not mean they won't be brought back in. It doesn't God doesn't, doesn't mean that the God doesn't have a plan for them. Um, anyway, it's just despicable. It really is to see this thing happen because of who they are, you know. And I'm pretty sure all the Palestinians there and all the Arabians and whoever else are like, yeah, you know, about dang time, you know. But uh, that's okay. The Lord's got a plan. And vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. So he will repay. Anyway, let me see, let's check this out real quick. What Donald Trump says. Going any further, I want to address the horrible shooting that took place earlier today. The hearts of all Americans are filled with grief following the monstrous killing of Jewish Americans at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh. Pennsylvania. People have seen it. They've been watching it. It's horrible. The suspect is in custody. The federal authorities are on the scene and leading an aggressive federal investigation. State and local law enforcement has been incredible. This evil anti Semitic attack is an assault on all of us. It's an assault on humanity. It will require all of us working together to extract the hateful poison of anti-Semitism from our world. This was an anti-Semitic attack at its worst. The scourge of anti-Semitism cannot be ignored, cannot be tolerated, and it cannot be allowed to continue. We can't allow it to continue. It must be confronted and condemned everywhere. It rears its very ugly head. We must stand with our Jewish brothers and sisters to defeat anti-Semitism and vanquish 
the forces of hate. That's what it is. Through the century, the Jews have endured terrible persecution, and you know that. We've all read it. We've studied it. They've gone through a lot. And those seeking their destruction, we will seek their destruction. Ooh, that's a big call out right there. Now, when you have crimes like this, whether it's this one or another one or another group, just in God, just in God <laughs> like this, whether it's this one or another one on another group, we mm. have to bring back. And the thing of it is, Jews aren't all blameless. Um, Sem those who are Semites aren't all blameless. Japhetics aren't all blameless. Um, Africans aren't all, I mean, Hamitics, which are Africans, aren't all blameless. We're, none of us are blameless in anything. But God, um, He's in control of all things. And we're all messed up. So, and what we really need is Jesus Christ. And so, whereas they had a gospel, we as Gentiles have a gospel now. And we need to bring it back to them. And we need to be we need to pray for the peace of Israel. We need to pray for the um that God's Jews are his jewels. We're his jewels as Christians, but the Jews are his crowning jewels. And there's a reason for that. That doesn't mean uh we have no place as Christians, but those who who are not Christians, um they they did they don't understand that they don't get it so they think well um yeah we can you know they you know they're not here to replace us we're not gonna let this happen now, all it is is just a bunch of hate speech from somebody somebody trying to start something else probably the, those secret places or the secret people who control parts of the government and stuff stirring things up just like they're doing with the um all that influx of um the, those um immigrants and stuff illegal Im immigrants that's probably what it is. I mean, I don't know that 100%, but it's, it's likely has something to do with it. Let's see what he says further here. The death penalty. They have to pay the ultimate price. They have to pay the ultimate price. They can't do this. They can't do this to our country. We must draw a line in the sand and say very strongly, Never again. Sure. Tonight, everyone in this arena. Never again to any people, but you know, particularly Jews. Sends our prayers to the victims and their families. We all do. We also send all our cost. gratitude to the law enforcement officers who were incredible and who risked their lives and sustained very, very serious injuries during this horrible attack. We salute the heroes of American law enforcement. We always do. We always do. We know how much we appreciate them, and yet they're underappreciated. They have done such an incredible job for so long, and it's a tough job. We see it now, we see it now, maybe like we've never seen it before. And this is the time to renew the bonds of love and loyalty that hold us all together as Americans. These bonds have always sustained our nation in its hour of need. You know that, everybody here knows that. And they are always more powerful than the forces of hatred and division, anger and evil. In America, we love our families love our neighbors, and we protect our community. We, we trust in God. That's it. We protect the freedom of worship. And we believe in the power of prayer. We defend our Constitution. We defend our heritage. And we rally around our great American flag like nobody else. 
That might got me teary at. But anyway, yeah. That that's um those are words right there that are gonna get people all upset. Especially when he speaks against the Fed and stuff like that. Oh, they're gonna get all upset. Ain't no telling what's gonna happen from that, but it's okay. Got still in control, doesn't matter what happens. But that's interesting, boy. I tell you what, that is like that's that's high noon slapping leather. That's Trump in a cowboy outfit with a gun on the side. Let's dance, partner. <laughs> that's something else. Maybe I thought I'd share that real quick before I went to bed. It's five fifteen in the morning. So it's time to go to bed. We'll see ya.